Well, this overview of the smuggling operation, yeah, it's it, it feels it feels cool to buy its own, and uh, oh, I'll be there at nine uh, a.m. at Red Beach tomorrow. I'll have uh, three three mules. Uh, we're talking eight hundred and you know uh, eighty pounds. Uh, if you throw on that extra you were talking about and uh, to get back to my hiding places here in the uh, labyrinth of the catacombs uh, of Matala, where I live. Oh, whoosh! A flaming log gets thrown from the huge bonfire, uh, lands at the feet of the two international drug dealers. Oh, it's uh, olive wood, so sparking green, streaking. What? Some German freak doing his impersonation of Hercules? Burning down the world? Miles on last. Looks like the party's coming alive. And look, Sphinx, I'm throwing a private pagan fertility ritual in my master mega catacomb tonight. Come on over. And, uh, Besides the sexual theater, I would love to get my tribe of slave disciples uh, stoned on <laughs> your white crystal LSD. It's renowned. I mean, we're talking Om Noma Shivaya quality. <laughs> Smiles benignly. Count me in. Yeah. Yeah. I've just recently come from our underground laboratory in San Francisco, and I've got a five-gram amber vial of crystal. One gram makes 4,000 trips. It's a five-gram bottle. I got a genie made out of 20,000 strong trips of acid, so, yeah, I could spare a few to turn your people on. Uh, well, uh, the cliffs... Uh, it, where the caves are, it's uh, well, it's about 300 feet high. I mean, straight up from the beach, and uh, well, yeah, 90 meters. And uh, well, yeah, biozone disappears. He got to draw a new pentagram uh, uh, in his chamber for the f fertility ritual, and uh, uh, <sighs> yeah, Sphinx is relaxing. <sighs> uh, so grateful to unwind from that recent tribal territory smuggling run. Pakistan to the Greek islands. Expedited by... <sighs> She's so... <laughs> Queen Latif. Well, uh, so a Sphinx, oh, well, uh, he immerses himself in the bonfire party. Oh, Freak swimming in the Aegean and in the moonlight. It's full moon. They're making phosphorescent uh, traces. I mean, if they're only tripping, they'd be streaking traces of uh, colors in the water. A burning comet trails across the inverted bowl of heaven. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, why are they wandering off? Pairing off and going into the shadows of the two, uh, uh, mm. that's right. <sighs> Make love. In the sand? Yeah. Earthy? Well, uh, Sphinx, he's got his, uh, fancy head, headdress on tonight. He's, he's going to the, uh, party in the style of Lawrence. Of Arabia, oh yeah, white silk, Bedouin robe. He he feels like turning on the whole party. I mean, he's got the good stuff. Okay, uh, a partner would be helpful in this regard. Yeah, well, he moves into the inner circle. Yeah, and gets gets his groove on. And oh, Indian tablas, acoustic guitar, oh, sitar, uh, bamboo flutes, and uh, oh, 
world-renowned jazz musician. Yeah. South Philly. And he is blowing his soul out on a gilded Mark IV classic Selmer saxophone from Paris. These puppies go for seven or eight thousand dollars used, and he's got one. <laughs> yeah, firelight, oh starry sky, full moon, and a Rastafarian from Jamaica. Well, her parents were from Jamaica. She grew up in Amsterdam in the Netherlands, <laughs> in Christiania, <laughs> the hippie enclave. Uh, yeah, fourteen years old. <laughs> And she leaps. She leaps. I mean, when you're 14, huh, you got a <laughs> frog legs. Uh, thinks we'd like to eat those. Yeah, and um, she shimmies. Oh, she just takes off her, her her top and shimmies her naked teenage breasts in the face of Sphinx. Oh, he's delighted uh, in the, in this courtship ritual. I mean, it's heavy. Uh, the beat, well, it's it's a little too heavy on Indian tablas, but you know, it's a free show. Sphinx, huh? Yeah, he gets a, an erection. His Bedouin robe has a little uh, poking coming out through there, and he dances like a uh, male bird of paradise. Maybe you've seen those David Attenborough, BBC uh, documentaries, The Birds of Paradise from Borneo, and what they do to fluff up to get the, the female. Huh? Well, he's just, you know, and he's dark-skinned and handsome. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's an old, you know, freak on the scene. He's 32 years old. Jesus. But, you know. Uh, oh, what's he wearing? Oh, well, there goes the Bedouin silk sarong into the sand. Oh, yeah, that falls off his shoulders. And, uh, oh, he does have a white uh, silk thong to cover his Shiva lingam. Jade stock? Well, okay, cock. It's transparent. Well, he's got the headdress. He shimmies his magnificent chest uh, before Rasta whispering to her. You are a sexy animal. <laughs> and she replies, you are destined to be my mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's a lovesick panther. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, she takes off her cotton panties and throws them into the bonfire as an offering of herself to Sphinx. Well, that tabla player, uh, Blurring Streak, how do they play that fast? Um, and that saxophonist from South Philly, we're talking African-American from New Orleans. Well, he moved up to Philly. Wales and weaves. Whew, with the waves. Hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, in harmony with the lapping of the waves into the Aegean Sea. Oh, what a part.